welcome to my channel in the previous video we have seen c++ type casting and we had studied c style casting so in this video we are going to learn about c++ casting operators and the first operator is static cost operator so i will demonstrate the usage working and syntax of static cost operator in this video so first of all we will see in term of primitive data types so we all know that we can implicitly convert a floating point variable into an integer variable same we can do explicitly by writing a keyword static cost and then its whole syntax uh, to convert a floating point variable into an integer. You can convert any other data type into any data type you want by writing this syntax. So why we explicitly call this, we write extra code uh, that for the thing we can do implicitly by writing just the, this line. Well, the main reason is to read the readability of the code, increase the readability of the code. If a programmer, a new programmer sees your code, then it won't understand what is going on here. But you know, he will definitely understand that you are costing something of one data type is converting into another by reading this line. So main reason is this, a good programmer always write a code which human can understand. Uh, compiler always know what are you doing and it won't give you an error. It will give you an error if there is something wrong. So same as again with this line, this line will give you an error at the compile time if conversion is not possible. But this line won't give you any error. Uh, it will give you an error, but at the run time, so it can waste your memory. So the second usage is in term of concrete data type. And we will see about conversion constructor and conversion operator. So if you don't know about these two, we will see they're working here. And if you want to learn deep, I recommend you to watch the video. So we have a, a base class and its object created here. And then we are writing this statement. Well, to understand this code, we have to see about conversion constructor and conversion operator first. So here's a base class and this is a keyword. Uh, it is uh, a keyword which is used to convert one data type into another. Uh, this is a keyword and it has no return type. Return type is taken uh, implicitly by the compiler. We write here, any type we write here, it will just convert the return variable into this type. So we should have a same variable in our uh, main function to receive that data type. We can assign only in character value to a character variable otherwise it will again implicit a cost and that thing again so this thing has been called implicitly by the compiler the operator keyword we used and then we returned the value and the value returned into the object of the class and then we assign the value here and then we have assigned then we have called the conversion constructor here we are assigning the value we have received from uh, this class over to this variable and then we are assigning this variable to our new object so value received will here will be 65 conversion after conversion it will become a a will be assigned to this uh, variable and this variable will be assigned to this then we have our conversion constructor called conversion constructor is a constructor if a class has a uh, constructor with one parameter then uh, we do things like this if we assign any value to the object of that class the compiler will call the conversion constructor implicitly and we have write our code for a single parameterized constructor so after writing this line our constructor conversion constructor calls on and assign value and will early value we assign to the object and then we will print this then we have the result as an integer because the constructor received the value that's integer so same is the case here i have to i have to explain all bunch of this code to you just because it is implicit costing so if we do explicit costing then you may understand what is going on. So these code are easy to understand. 
we know that we are converting one object into a credit data type and then we then a character variable is receiving that value which is returned by this object same as the case here we are assigning a value character and then we are explicitly writing code for static cost variable we can see a character variable as a variable ch which has type uh, return type character is explicitly costing into an integer value and then it will be assigned to the uh, constructor parameterized constructor of the base class then we if we print this then the value will be printed so another case in terms of inheritances we can also use static cost operator in terms of assigning uh, the value to the pointer of the base class in terms uh, to the value of base class variable to the the value of sorry derived class variable to the base class so after writing this code we don't have much readability of the code but these line provide better readability than this line so we write uh, this code as there are two types of costing in terms of inheritance one is up costing and second is down costing if you don't uh, if you are not similar with familiar with those then i recommend you to watch the video to get a better understanding uh, these are simply just the costing we have discussed earlier in this case these are just the pointer and the then receiving address or change the same working or same and the thing last thing that we can't do with static cost operator is assigning a variable to a pointer of another type it will give you an error at the compile time well conversion of this uh, a data type into another data type pointer isn't impossible well in this case it will also give you an error but at the runtime the four uh, the integer variable stores address and store value at four bytes but a character variable store value at a single byte so the value so majority of the data will be lost the it will not going to print the whole uh, it will just print the single byte as has been allocated in the memory so same is the case if we assign the character variable to an integer pointer then it will uh, integer pointer will have four byte in the memory it will print all of the four bytes whereas we have just single byte allocated by the character variable so this conversion are aren't possible um, explicitly or implicitly in any case but this the advantage of using static cost operator is that it gives you error at the compile time so you know betterly that and this cost is not going to be possible but implicitly you are going to uh, get an error but at the compile time so i hope you get a better understanding if you don't understand anything please comment below i will make sure that you got the points